School is officially back in for fall, and while I'm super excited to get back into the routine and the swing of things with my little ones, I definitely have to step my game up as far as looking good every day around the other moms. So I'm not sure I to me this beautiful deep wave wear and go wig, so I think I'm going to be pretty good to start the school year off with this beautiful gorgeous look. I styled her in two ways for you guys, so let's not waste any time, let's get started. Sino Shore Hair hooked us up and sent us this beautiful glueless 7x5 pre-cut HD lace wig. She's a wear and go, so we're wearing her glueless today. And the texture is Deep Wave, 180% density. The Deep Wave is definitely Deep Waving. And again, she fits glueless. What do we need? What more can we ask for? Gotta be up every single morning for school and I can literally throw her on and be ready to go so here is a look at the wig you guys seen the back of the wig and how it looks you guys seen the inside construction of the cap and you also see that she fits 100% glueless I'm going to start off the customization by doing my favorite step which is the dynamic duo this here is the wax stick from vdeckbitty.com paired with our electric hot comb I like to keep mine on the highest heat setting so I recommend you do this step on a wig head before you put the wig on your head to avoid any burning of your own skin or head as you guys can see i'm very generous with the heat passes i like to get it as smooth as possible it's not necessarily about getting it flat more than it is about getting the lumps out i mean i do like my wigs to be on flat flat but i really just don't like any lumps at all when it comes to my lace here i am doing option one for baby hair which is where i just pulled out a little bit of hair in the front cut it super short like baby hair length and i used the bedeck beauty edge control to go ahead and suit baby hairs now this looks cute when it was all said and done and you'll see how I bring it together but you'll also see later in the video that I am going to send all of this back and start over and do a different type of baby hair because even though you may have a certain look in your mind when you put it together if you don't like the way it looks and you're not a hundred percent satisfied I'm all for you going for what you really like and how to get the best look out of whatever situation you got going so for me this is what I thought I wanted but when I seen it I decided that I wanted a different style of baby hair so you'll see how I style the hairline in two different ways now that we got that together let's go ahead and pull the hair back I do want to go ahead and melt the lace in because we are wearing this one glueless you definitely want to make sure that it's pressed into your skin so that it looks as smooth and flawless in the hairline as possible while that melts I'm going to go ahead and play with the extensions or the end of the hair as I mentioned this is deep wave and it is in the length 26 inches as I say shrinkage is definitely real i love the texture on this one paired with the 180 percent density i feel like it's the perfect combo to be super va va voom but literally not too much this is also a 7x5 lace so we do get the extended lace parting while still getting the closure wig fit here I am just adding a little bit of a leave-in and I definitely was generous with this product. This was like literally while the entire family was asleep. I was trying to prepare for the kids first day of school and I wanted to not wake everybody up. So I really wanted to wet the hair down but then I wanted to diffuse it. So I was trying to do everything kind of like in silence. So I did make the mistake of not wetting the texture down first. Now while this sometimes works, I was kind of not wanting to have super super wet hair on me today so again i tried to go with product first now if you want to go in with product first and not do any water i recommend you doing this with mousse because mousse will give you a better look as far as like opening up the curls softening up the curls and really really getting in there and moisturizing the hair going in with a leave-in on dry hair definitely is not the goat but again i'm all about trying different things to see what does and doesn't work if you're going to go in with the leave-in make sure that the hair is moist first now that we have the hair saturated with a good leave-in and a little bit of mousse let's go ahead and tint the lace i did remove that male butter you guys can see it's super melted in but it just wasn't giving what i was looking for so i'm going to switch it up in just a moment but for now i'm using a cream foundation to go in and tint that seven inches of parting space love 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 a good extended parting because it definitely gives a lot more natural in my opinion Next, we're going to go in with the complimentary powder foundation and tint the hairline. Again, you're going to see me do this again because we're going to switch up the baby hair. 
I was trying to make it work with what I already did because I think this looks good. I just didn't think it looked like great. It wasn't showcasing the wig in its best manner. Again, this one is 100% glueless. So I'm just sitting here playing with it and adding a little bit more volume. Again, wet your wig down and wet it down a lot. Trying to skip out on the H2O on the hair definitely does not complement the hair or any hair for that means you definitely want to get your hair wet h2o is the best moisturizer for any hair whether it's your real hair or your extensions now here i was trying to decide if i wanted to style it up i thought cornrows would look really good with this one or even like twisties and it definitely does but i just wasn't feeling it on this day Okay, as I mentioned, I'm going to switch up the baby hair. It just wasn't eaten. It wasn't serving. I didn't feel like that girl with that baby hair. That is a great option. But again, you want to go with what complements your wig the best. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the two swoops. You guys know I love to do the two swoops above each arch of my eyebrows. I did pull the hair forward and then tweeze it out to my liking. I wanted to give a good flawless vibe. Although the wig fits glueless, you still want to be able to make it look like you've done all of the work you don't want your wig to look like it's glueless and it's sitting on top of your head and anybody can snatch it off at any given moment you want to give install vibes always and so I did go ahead and trim this down and swoop it to my liking and this definitely gave what I was going for it definitely brought my confidence back so I'm going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side again customize your wig to your liking you don't have to tweeze it out to perfection on the first day that you install take your time get comfortable with your wig wear it in different ways different types of baby hair um, but definitely slay and serve as best you can now I feel like that girl I feel like this one definitely went up in value 20 points 10 out of 10 i would highly recommend i'm gonna add a little bit more of that powder foundation and the hairline just to make sure everything is pulled together did i mention this is 100 percent glueless she's absolutely flawless and as you guys can see the deep wave is absolutely beautiful this one is very affordable especially if you include my coupon code i have a code in the description box for you to get 20 or even 30 percent off and it takes the wig down to a very affordable price love love her she's absolutely gorgeous i went ahead and did a style for you guys where i just kind of like pulled some hair forward as like the little bang situation twisted those around and then i was gonna do the twisties I, for some reason i was stuck on twisties with this one and then at the 11th hour i decided to just use a little banana clip pulling the sides forward because this is a closure and clipping it up and this definitely gives vacay vibe vacate me bolt me eyelid me something me you guys can see how simple and easy it is to style your wigs in fun ways without doing the most here is the packaging and again this one is from Dino Sure Hair. They give you this dust bag paired with a pack of wig caps, a melt belt, this two pack of lashes, which give all of the va va boom. And this is the final look. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm happy I was able to show you how to style this one in two different ways with two different styles of baby hair. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you lasted this long in the video, be sure to subscribe and give your girl a thumbs up. Check this one out in the description.